Hello, I'm going to do the Sagittarius weekend energy and this may or may not be your day for a message. And I also feel that it could still be your day for a message, but it could happen within the next couple weeks. I feel like it's sort of like a two week time span um, that if this message was meant for you that things could be happening. All right, we have the emperor. The emperor represents financial stability. It also represents an Aries. So you could be having contact with an Aries. There could have been some sort of deception that went on with an Aries that um, it could also represent, um, this is someone who has a lot of authority, somebody who's in control, somebody who has a lot of power. Um, it could represent this person. Um, there was some deception that went on that they, they played a game. They played, tried to put a blinder over your eyes. They tried to deceive you. Um, but there's a new beginning. You may be having a new beginning with this person, um, a fresh start with this person, either this weekend or within the next couple of weeks that you decide to give this person a new start, a fresh start, um, that you're going to leave that in the past, that you're, it's a decision that you need to make um, because you're thinking about happier times that you had with this person in the past, that in the past you guys had a really good time together and this thing happened and you need to make a decision about what you want to do. Do you want to have a fresh start with this person and get back to those fun times of what you used to do or do you want to um, do you want to move on from this let's see let's Let's do this one. These are the um, Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Sacral Chakra. I forget which one that is. The Sacral Chakra. Look, I opened right up to it. Keywords, I want. This second chakra is located two fingers below your navel and relates to emotions, desires, creativity, and sexuality. All right. So, I feel like this person really makes you feel alive. Like this person um, stirs up your emotions, your desires, um, that this person you find very attractive, but they did something that really hurt you, that bothered you, um, and you have a lot of fond memories of them from the past, but this thing that happened really kind of messed things up for you, but you have... A strong attraction to this person and that's why you've been thinking about um, whether or not you want to continue a relationship with this person but that's that's something that you need to decide you need to decide what is going to be best for you what's going to make you shine what's going to make you happy um, this represents the sun card, okay? Um, ha bringing out the sun in your life again. Is reconnecting with this person going to bring out the sun? Is it going to make you happy again? Is it going to bring back the happy memories from before? All right, that's something you have to decide. And you don't have all the information right now. See how she has the... I feel like that's sort of represents your inner gut, your inner feeling, your intuition that you have on this, but it also represents that you don't have all the 
information to make that answer. So maybe it's going to take you a little bit of time to figure out what you want to do with this person. Whether you want them back in your life or not. What would work best for you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday.